All right. Go for it. Okay. Do you start? Yeah, I can. Um, okay. So I'm a freshman, obviously at OU, and I am majoring in pre med right now, like mainly biology pre med. I uh, don't really know what I want to do with it yet, but I think I want to go to sports medicine type stuff. We can have play a training with me, but I don't know yet. Um, I'm Maggie. I am a sophomore at OU. I major in marketing, so in the business school of OU, and then I double minor in art history and interior design. Um, hopefully one day I either, I mean, I'll, I'll have a business degree, so um, either I want to be like an art dealer, um, maybe own my own interior design firm. We'll see what happens. All based around art and business, so. Go ahead and talk about why you guys chose OU. Mm, uh, I mentioned earlier, but I chose OU just because, um, I, I mean, I grew up around it first of all, so um, I grew up in Chickasha my whole life. Um, I grew up an OU fan, but I definitely knew I needed to be a part of something competitive, um, not like with others, but like competitive within myself um, and really challenge myself. Um, to be better and do better um, and OU fit that standard for me. So um, that's just like mainly why I chose OU. Yeah, I chose it because it was the only school I applied to. It's the only one I wanted to go to. It's like my dream school because I like she, I grew up around it. I grew up in like in Chickasha, but I was always in movement. Like I was always going up there. So I had friends up there. Like I would always just go up there and hang out with them and be around at the OU campus. So. I really wanted to go there and experience it for myself rather than just seeing what other people do and wishing I could be like them. I wanted to do it myself and see what it actually would. So it's pretty awesome. Go ahead and explain your guys' classes and the difference between high school and college. Okay, for, for me, I said this earlier, um, I think like Chickasha High School, like their classes here are really easy. Like, you don't, they don't really prepare you a lot for college, except Goebbels class, like, she's really the only class I have that actually helps me, like, look into college and see, like, what classes I should take and stuff. All my other classes, like, my core classes, like, they didn't help me at all. Like, I, going into college, I had to relearn everything. Like, I remembered some stuff. Uh, Miss Wilkerson's class helped me a little bit with biology. Um, like, what I'm learning right now in biology, I remember a lot from her class, but um, that's really... The only class that I can remember, like um, like my calculus class that I had to take, I had to drop it because I couldn't learn anything in there. Like I, and my professor wasn't helping me at all, so I had to drop that class and withdraw from it, which still makes me full time because I had uh, 15 hours and I dropped three, so it's just 12. Which to be full time, it has to be 12. Um, and then I'm in biology because it's mainly what I have to take. And but the classes here, they don't really, I don't know, they're like they help you learn, like it's easy in high school, but like when you go to college, it's really kind of a little bit more difficult, especially at OU. I know at Swasu, where my friends go, they don't have as much trouble because it's not as like higher up as OU is, which is still an amazing like university, but like OU is just really intense sometimes, so. Maybe the class or the coursework is just more rigorous. Yeah, it's it just a lot thing. more um, in depth than you get in high school, which it should be. But like in high school, you should still like kind of go over certain things. And in college, I went over things and I didn't even know what they were. I never heard. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'll say this again, but call, our high school is very surface level um, with everything. Um, so I think that the biggest adjustment is like trying to get used to how like challenging things are and doing things on your own. You do have, like high school, you have a backbone, like everyone's kind of helping you. And as you know, when you get to college, um, as much as people want to help you, you do still have to figure things out by yourself. So I think that's, um, you know, partially why it is so difficult um, when you first get there. Um, I would say like studying is completely different, of course, and they'll tell you that. Um, but I did say this before, no matter what people tell you, nothing's going to fully prepare you for the college experience. Nothing will. 
Um, it's something you have to do on your own to really like know how like how you need to prepare, um, how you need to learn. Everyone has a different learning style, and you'll definitely learn that in college as well. Um, so I think that with high school being so surface level, level really prepare yourself for that big jump because um, there there's a big difference between high school and college, and especially you know going to like I've got high school where you don't get to you know take more advanced classes. Um, it, it can be very hard. Um, so that's like the biggest difference learning wise. Oh, and another class that really helped me in high school was um, Miss Turpins. I noticed that like because I was in AP English in high school like, in her class that uh, my junior and senior year and like she made us write so much because that's basically in English and college that's all you do is really write. Like, Lots of reading and writing. Yeah, that's, and it's her class really helped me because I think she helped more because her son goes to OU and and he she kind of got information from him to like see what it was like and so she helped us out with that, which I really appreciate. Would you guys say the fear and anxiety being seniors going into the next step? Like should there be that fear and anxiety? What do you guys suggest to help with that? Um I like, I definitely think, I don't think there should ever be fear and anxiety um, going into college because I do believe that college is the biggest fresh start of your life. It's honestly the beginning of your life. And um, you grow up, especially here, um, surrounded by the same people. Um, and it's just so, like, repetitive. We're in college, and especially at OU, I mean, you're just surrounded by, like, a large amount of just completely different people completely different backgrounds so um I would say like mm -hmm. what I did to okay because whenever I was going into like whenever I was applying and stuff and then I got accepted and I was getting ready to actually go to college like after I had graduated and stuff I was terrified like I was yeah. making I was scared I wasn't gonna make friends I was scared I wasn't gonna meet people that would like me or be like understanding of how I am, which is completely different. Like, it's weird because you think all that, and just because I came from here, like everyone here is basically the same. Like, you know your people, like you grew up here, um, like I early sided. And um, I knew everyone, you know, I was like, oh yeah, you say their name and you know them. Like, that's how it was here. And then going to college, I was terrified. I had to make all new friends, like, because I only knew other, one other person that would go that was from Chicka Shay. And so going there, I was terrified to make new friends. I had so much anxiety. Like I was I was excited, but I was so nervous at the same time, which is okay to be like that. But actually going into it, I think it was you don't need to have that. I mean obviously people will have it, like it's okay. But fear is normal. It's it's but just it's you also have to I mean, I don't I think there's a difference between like um like fearing college and like just preparing yourself because I think all it is is just preparing yourself for college. I don't. I really don't think there is a reason to like fear have anxiety over like, um, you know, that change. Um, I think it can be intimidating, but as long as you go in with full confidence, um, people are going to help you as well, like to gain more confidence. And I like I can say this without a doubt. Like I've never had this much confidence in my life, and it's definitely due to college. You know, like there's always people like helping you and supporting you. The encouragement is like outstanding. Um, so I think that no matter who you are and what you want to do with your life, um, when you get to college, everyone's in the same struggle. You know, we're trying to get somewhere and we're trying to succeed in life. And so I think that that's why, um, and this goes into a different topic, but like I think that's why like relationships are like have way more depth in college. And they're extra, like way more intentional um, is because just like everyone is just in the same boat and we're all trying to get somewhere in life and be successful. So why not all do it together and be there to like support each other? Um, so especially OU, I feel like, um, like they always say this, but like you, like you are not alone. Like people are always wanting to help you get to where you want to be. So um, never fear going into college. Um, that you might fail or you might not be seen or you might not, you know, have the same experience because everyone's experience is different. 
And like it, like I said earlier, it's like the start of your life. It really is. Um, you get to do everything on your own. You know, you're setting yourself aside from like your parents. You know, you get to make your own life. So um, don't have fear. Have, you know, confidence and like think positively about this experience. Because I think that sometimes like people, you know, shut down before they get to college um, because of everything that's thrown at them about like, oh, like it's hard. You're going to struggle, blah, 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 money. But in reality, it should be like the most positive experience of your life. So um, if you just go in with full confidence, um, you should have like the best time ever. Yeah, and whenever I actually got there, I realized that like your confidence definitely does hurt. Because like I've been way more confident than I ever have to. Like, um, and like going into college, like I wasn't like I was nervous to make friends and stuff, and all the classes like you like I knew they were going to be more difficult than high school and stuff. And I had just gone like two years without taking a math. Like I didn't know what I was doing. Like I was just so nervous and stuff. And uh, then I actually got in there. It's not as bad as you like. It's so fun. And even though like COVID and everything has like stopped a lot of like normal things, I guess you could say, which now this is normal, but like it's still fun. Like I have fun. I like going. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and talk about how you guys balance um, school work. If you guys have a job, sorority, I know Maggie's a sorority life. How do you balance like social life, school, everything? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I work a job, um, in, in like real estate so I work in sales so hopefully when, when they maybe I could get my real estate license just to get somewhere um, but uh, so that that does take a lot of time um, because depending on like my effort that shows like how well I do in my work um, but I will say um, it's not hard to balance social life with school um, if you just give it your all and everything I think it actually makes it easier. Um, I think people, you know, they lack effort in certain things so they can focus on others. But if you put full, full focus into everything you do, you will never struggle with your social life or work or school. Um, I just, I think that, like I, like I said earlier too, uh, OU is like awesome about, you know, shining a light on everyone. And so, like, social life is very easy at OU. There's always something to do, always something for everyone, um, for every category. I mean, you can you can start a club if you want. It's not hard. So I think that um, that also goes along with just, like, putting yourself out there. But social life with everything else isn't hard. Um, and unless you, like, you know, want to be the person to just, like, you know, keep to yourself and – that's fine, but um, even those that come in shy still find something that they truly enjoy socially, and they involve them, themselves in things such as when we work um, and things like that. So I think that it's easy, and I think that it's part of the experience. So you definitely, you know, need to have some social aspect in college. Yeah, I learned a lot of time management. Like you just have to know what you're like, what times you're doing certain things, and. You really have to set yourself a schedule and if not then you're just gonna be all over the place because yeah. at first i was like oh I'll do this at this time and then it never worked out because there was something else like you just really have to understand like what your week consists of like because every week is basically the same like unless there's other stuff going on you know but like you really just have to have time management and understand what you're like actually doing like, with your time yeah and i think because i that's also a huge change within high school and college is that you know, you, you come to high school and it's, you know, you get here and you have your seven hours of the day. And you have lunch at the same time every day. and You go to your sports and then you go home and then you, whatever you do at home, that's your day. And it's repetitive and it's the same thing. But I think in college, um, that's also what's super awesome. And you already know this, but you get to set your own schedule. And, you know, you get to choose what you do in between those times. And. Um, every day for me is different. I, I mean, I don't know um, if that's just me because I'm, you know, scattered brained and I have to do something at all hours of the day. But like, I, I really do, um, you know, I, I have a new day every day. It's nothing repetitive. I mean, yes, I have the same classes every other day, but um, 
I mean, for me, it's it's a new schedule every day. So that's why I, I do enjoy college for that reason. Um, but I think time management is totally important and you don't realize that until you get there. Um, so. Yeah, and um, with like work and stuff, because I work on campus. So like you, I would think at first I thought I was like, I'm never going to have any free time. I'm always going to be working at class, studying. Like I'm never going to be able to do anything. But like realizing like, with time management, like you, I have a lot of free time. Like I can do what I want. Like if I wake up at a certain time, go to sleep at a certain time. Like I can finish whatever I want within those hours. Like it doesn't matter. You can't let other stuff interfere with that. So, Go ahead and explain. So you're working on campus work study. What does that yeah. help you for? Oh, um, so I work on a restaurant on campus, um, and it helps. It pays for my room and board. So it's a room and board work program at OU. Um, and it literally, you just work 18 hours a week, which isn't bad. And then you, uh, it pays for your room board. So, yeah, that's awesome. Go ahead and explain, since OU is a larger school, uh, bigger classes, how is your relationship with your professors? What do you suggest to make sure you're being seen in that kind of stuff? Um, I think um, people don't realize how, uh, we know college is big and we know there's a lot of people there. Um, and, but every class is different. So, I mean, I've had a class with 400 people before all in the same room. And then I've had classes with nine people. So I think that, I mean, you know, it depends on the class and like the lecture, but, um, like I said earlier, you really, really, really have to put yourself out there in college. And I, like, I know that can be intimidating and trust me, I've been there myself. I came from this high school. I know what it's like to, you know, like be in a crowd and honestly not feel seen, but that's important. And like, you know, you have to, you, you have to make yourself your own individual. So, um, I would definitely say like create those relationships with the professors, no matter where you go with the TAs, with your, your advisor, make sure you have a relationship with them because that can honestly be the game changer in your college experience in your grades and how you do and your scholarships and your internships you just really have to invest in those relationships because that can honestly be the difference between um, how you do in college so like for me I, I make sure I have a relationship with every professor or TA I have um, if there's no such thing as annoying in college um, like they do have office hours um, so you need to meet with your professors during their office hours. You'll get told that, but if you don't do it, um, it won't help you. You won't advance. Um, for some people, just meeting with them can up their grade because it shows the effort that they're putting in. High school's not like that. You're gonna see your teacher every day. You have a relationship with your teacher because it, you have a class of 15 people, you know? So it's, you have to really invest in that. Um, um, I know it can be scary because for me going into college, like the word professor, for some reason, is just way more intimidating, but it's really not. Um, so meet with them. They're human. They're trying to help you. They've been in your shoes once before. That's why they're professors now. So um, especially the TAs, like they're, they're students and they are, are most likely students, you know, within the university or have graduated from that university. So they know the ups and downs and the ins and outs. So just really invest in those relationships and put yourself out there um, and find that confidence because that is a game changer. Yeah, and make sure you're, like you said, go to their office hours and like, talk to them. If you have questions, like ask. Like don't be scared to like ask your questions that you need answers to because if not, then you're literally not gonna pass. Like yeah. you need to like get answers to what you need. You will learn that no answer is a stupid, or no question is a stupid question in yeah. college. Like, everyone is probably one, like wondering the same question. I've been in a lecture with like 400 people once and just like literally so scared to ask a question and someone across the room will ask it. So like everyone's thinking the yeah. same way. Like you're, there's, you know, there's no reason to like fear because like I said earlier, Everyone's in the same boat. So yeah, and that's what I was saying earlier. Like my biology class that I'm in right now has literally it's on Zoom, but it has 500 people in it. Like 
there's so many people in there and there's always people asking questions. And if you're too scared to ask a question, like that's okay, because usually other people will ask a question and you'll get your answer. Like, and my biology professor is usually really good. Like, even though there's 500 people in there, whoever has a question, he gives time for people to ask their questions. Like, even though there's so many people in there, you can still get your answer through like him. So it's pretty cool. You guys have questions, you need to keep asking. Um, do you guys go to like the football games or did they cancel them because of COVID? Yeah, so um, part of part of honestly why I chose OU is because of the, the athletics. It's it's entertaining. It's part of the college experience. So um, and I don't, you know, feel weird when I say that because you know I take pride in my university and like our athletics. Um, they didn't cancel due to COVID. Um, I mean, it's definitely different. It's, you know, limited capacity. So getting tickets as a student isn't necessarily too hard, but um, it is different and it, the experience has, you know, changed a lot. But I will say like, it's all part of the experience. I don't know um, where y'all want to go, but if it is of you, um, you're definitely gonna get the most experience just by the athletics. Um, we've mentioned this before, but like um, students get, um, besides football and men's basketball, students get tickets for free at OU, so like really take advantage of that. Um, I mean, football's, you know, what are they like? $30. $30 for a student ticket. And it just goes on your purse or something. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, yeah, which is like super good. So, take advantage of that. Like, I don't know if that's like a big deal for y'all, but like, um, I mean, Football games are like fun and you want to be able to like tell those stories. So uh, I would definitely say, you know, I don't know where you're going, but you're going the rival college OSU. OSU. Yeah. Hey, and OSU similar though. I mean, like they're yeah, they're in like their football, it's I mean everything's yeah. the same with them. Yeah, they get free tickets too. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Like, I'm totally gonna go to this other game. No, and that's yeah. the way you guys get involved too. Yeah, the football games are really mm -hmm. fun. Um and I've been to like all of them games except the last one because that's corn. But mm -hmm. like they're really fun, even though they're limited capacity. Like it's still it doesn't feel like it is at OU at least. Mm -hmm. I don't know about I think OSU's the exact same. Like OU's like at, in our stadium it's so big, like there's so many fans still. Like even though there's not as many as there usually is, it's still so fun and it's football. Like I love football. That's another reason why she said that's the reason I have mm -hmm. it. Go ahead and explain a little bit of like housing, meal plans at OU, and like what you guys suggest. Um, so um, I'm a sophomore this year, um, but freshman year, the for my meal plan, OSU is the exact same way. So um, I don't know if they like call it the same thing, but technically it's the same thing. Um, so we have like meal swipes for the week, and then your points for like the semester. So. Um, for the week, I decided to do the meal plan where I got five or six meal swatch for the week. I can't remember because, like, for me, it just depends on who you are and how you eat and, like, your schedule. Um, I'm more of, like, a snacky person, so you get way more points than you do meal swipes, clearly. Um, so I decided to do less meal swipes and more points, but some people do um, – more swipes and less points. So like, it's just kind of different. It ranges um, just based on you. You can change it throughout the semester too. Um, so I think there's like a deadline for it, but besides that, um, you can change it. And and this year, um, I don't have like a meal plan because I have like, a I mean, like I eat at the sorority house, but um, I do have points still. So you can still do like points throughout your four years. And it's easy because you know, points are like if you want to stop and get coffee at Starbucks on your way to class. Or like, you know, it's for that kind of stuff. So just depending on what you like and how you eat, whatever. Yeah, I got the where I got six meals a week and then it's like seven hundred and fifty points for the semester. And um I think it's fun. But I also whenever I work I get free food too. So it just depends. I don't even ever use all my meals in one day. Like sometimes I'll pay for my friends' meals. I mean, just because I have them, like, and I'm not going to use them after. So you can swipe from people? Yeah. And uh, so, you know, like, 
And the thing is, like, if you have extra meals at the end of the week, they don't roll over to the next week. Like, it's it. That's it. That's it. Like, same thing with, um, I, don't, I don't think it's like that with laundry, actually. We didn't even talk about laundry in the last class, but for me, laundry is, like, in the basement of my dorm, or there's, like, a little, like, place that you can go to that's, like, across from my dorm. So I use, uh, we also use, we get, like, money for laundry, too, for that every week. How do you guys like dorm life, your sorority life? How do you guys? Um, I mean, I love the dorm life. That's how I met a lot of my first friends in college. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's a great way to like meet people and get involved because they're literally like, you know, there's always something going on or like someone's doing something and they're telling you about it. So I think dorms are great. I mean, you do live in a shoebox, but besides that, like, I mean, it's for a year and all you're doing is sleeping in there. So, like, I think that it's totally worth it. I think that the dorms, I know a lot of people, like, try to opt out of living in the dorms. But I say, like, if you're going to go to college, you might as well do the full, you know, experience and go for it. Um, it never bothered me. I, you know, I made sure everything fit in my dorm and I made it work. So, I think that if you're going to go to college, totally go for some dorms. They are fun. Yeah. I mean, Live in the, I mean, I live in the sorority house now, so completely different. Um, I live in a pretty big room. I live in, but I live in a room with four girls, so or I guess three other girls. So um, it's, but it's pretty big. I mean, and it's nice, but um, I do. I love living with people. Like I don't know about y'all. I mean, I do like my own bathroom space, but besides that, like I think it's a blast. I think it's all part of the experience. So. If I were you, totally go for the dorms, but um, I, will, I won't lie. I'm kind of excited to have my own bedroom mm -hmm. one day. But Yeah, um, I live in the dorms now, and everyone says they're terrible. They aren't as bad as you think. Like, yeah, it's smaller for two people to live in there, but it's really not that bad if you, like, set it up. Like, the way me and my roommate set it up is completely different than everyone else on our floor. Like, the way we set it up makes sure we have space, like, Everyone else just kind of threw their stuff in there the way it was already set up. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I moved everything around. <laughs> like, I had to because there was not enough space in there for what we wanted to do with it. And a lot of people, I remember you telling me not to decorate as much, but I still decorated. I'm just like, because not for an interior design major, you would think I'd go ham on all my bedrooms. But if you're living there for less than a year, like, I just don't feel the need to, like, yeah. put stuff up and then have to take it down. Yeah, the thing is, like, me and my roommate, we, like, we didn't decorate a bunch. We just got stuff like to put on like our desks and stuff that looked yeah. cute. And then on my wall, like that's right by my bed, I put up pictures with tape. Like that's it. Like that's all I yeah. need for decorating. I don't get homesick and though. Then, if you get homesick, maybe try to decorate. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm okay with living in some that's white walls. That's the question. <laughs> that's the question. So talk about how often you guys visit. How often have you visited home? Or like, um, I um the first like few weeks, I didn't come home really like at all. Like. Unless I needed to get something, like because I remember I had ordered a bunch of stuff uh, for my dorm, and I had to come back and get it and bring it back up. But we said only living like forty minutes away from Chigashe is really not that bad. I don't want to come home all the time. I'm not like, well, I need to go to Chigashe and see my family. Like I love my family, but I don't need to be around them all the time because I'm independent now. Like I'm on my own. Like I need to learn how to be on my own. And uh, I see I come into my mom. My mom comes up there and visits me and my sister both, and. Um, you know, we see each other a lot, so it's not really hard for me. I, I don't get homesick, so for me, it's not bad. But I know um, one of my friends. It's it's not bad for me because I live. I've lived in Oklahoma. I'm only forty minutes away. But my one of my friends is from Texas, and she is always wanting to go home. She and she misses her mom because her mom and her are really close. So she, I get it from her because she's you know four or five hours away. But for me, it's when not something's bad. further away, it makes it more yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I mean, I never come home, so I know that sounds terrible, but I just like, I like am always busy, so like I think that's, if you find, you know, if you fill your time, I think it gets easier. Um, I, I've i always kind of been independent, like I'm, my mom and I are extremely close, I mean, I, I mean, she is like my backbone, so um, for someone who is that close to their parent, I I feel like I would come home more often, but 
I, I'm just not that person. I, I this is my first time back since August, so I, I mean, I like never come home. But um, she came back for y'all. I came oh, back, wow. yes. So, but like, if you there's like nothing wrong with coming home and like visiting. I mean, it can be hard and college is stressful. But I also realized, and I think this is like, like you know, I I've had the best college experience in my friends and. Um, I mean, I, there have been times where I've, I've struggled a lot in college and, you know, it, it can be exhausting mentally, um, but like I do have awesome friends and like a great group of people surrounding me. So I think that, that helps. And like, like I said earlier, um, friendships really do get deeper in college and more intentional. So um, you're, it's, it's going to be easy to like, you know, go on to be on your own. Uh, because you do have a lot of support, and um, I mean, if but if you get homesick, there's nothing wrong with it. It wears off. It really does. So I had a friend as well that you know went home like literally every weekend of college, um, but it, it wears off, and you know you figure out you know yourself and how you need to be to like get get by and do things on your own. So I mean, I don't come home, but. <clears throat> yeah, and when I do come back to Chicago State, and I love Chicago State, like we were talking about this earlier, but I love Chicago State and like how small it is, like small town. You know? But I, when I'm here, I don't want to be here. Like I'd rather be in Norman or like that way. You like I'd rather be up there because I like it more up there because it's bigger and there's more people that I like up there. Like I, I don't even like when I do come here. Like I'm like okay, I'm good for a day and I'm like back. Like I want to go back. Like, so. But she always comes and visit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere is definitely different. But I think, you know, and y'all know this because I'm sure y'all have been here for quite some time. But um, like I was born here and I was raised here. Well, I was born in Norman, actually, but I was raised here. Um, so, like, it's definitely been, like, very repetitive and, like, the same atmosphere. So I think jumping into, like, a new you know, area, um, and like being around different people, like for me, like that, that was so exciting that like I, like I was very, I was so content there that I didn't have to like, you know what I'm saying? Fulfill, you know, that happiness with coming back home. Like I was always, I'm always like doing something and, um, like filling my, you know, spare time. Just getting involved. Yeah, yeah. So I think that just the more you get involved and like, the more that you do and fill your time, like it really, you won't get homesick. I mean, and y'all, wherever you choose to go, you're going to OSU, you're close yeah. to home. So I'm sure you'll be fine, but. Yeah, um, and at OU, I don't know about OSU, because I, I have friends that go there, but I've never heard of like stuff happening on campus, but they're never really, they're not, they're pretty strict about the whole COVID thing. So, but for OU uh, on campus, we still have a bunch going on, like in like the South Oval and like social distance. Have, social know. distance, obviously, like literally, they ours ours is really strict too. Like we have to wear masks all around campus. Like even if we're outside, like we have to wear masks. Like, but there's and, still a lot of stuff. Going but there's on. still a lot of stuff going on. It still feels like it's the same. Like as yeah. when she was a freshman. Like, and I don't, I don't really like, I don't. This topic isn't brought up a lot, but I feel like I should bring this up. And I didn't bring this up at the first class, but um, I think what like OU does that for certain reasons. And I think in college, you kind of like, you know, get lost in things. And um, sometimes you do struggle. And I don't like, I don't usually bring this up, but I've realized a lot since I've been in college, like mental health is like a huge deal. And I think that like OU is awesome about doing these events because it, it gets people out of their dorms, especially during these times. Um, and it just gets people doing something and you'd be surprised by like how, you know, your mental health can, you know, suffer whenever you're like locked in the door all day and like, especially during COVID. So um, I think it's also important to really just like take care of yourself. Um, I, at one point I found myself just like totally like not really taking care of myself and like not watching my health it, it's really important to do that especially in college you're on your own so um just make sure you like you know stay on top of things but also like don't be hard on yourself because it's hard and it's like not supposed to be easy 
but you need to like make sure that you are fine mentally and physically. So pat yourself in the back once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, you got there. So yeah. that's the yeah. And what I like about you, like you're saying, like they really like to talk about mental health. Like they advocate for it. Like they're like, you need to like stay like be okay. <laughs> like make sure you're taking care of yourself and stuff. And then uh, also going back to like uh, the, the whole like where they have a lot of stuff going on on campus. Um, they also have like I first mentioned this last chapter. I was uh, going to, but I forgot. Um, they also have like food trucks on campus that you can use your like meal swipes or points at. And um, that gets a lot of people out of their dorms as well because it's something different rather than the food that we already have on campus. So like it gets you out of your dorm. You can always want to try something new. And then sometimes they'll have like movie nights on the top of the like, where you can just sit outside and watch a movie on like a blow up thing. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What's your guys' suggestion on scholarships and how to pay for college scholarships? This is like my favorite question because I think I did not analyze this whatsoever in high school that like a big chunk of your money is going towards college and you don't realize that. Um, well, or your parents' money, however you're paying for that. It's someone's money and you're, you know, spending it to get an education. And that sounds like scary because sometimes I think people go to college and they're like, I really hope I'm like paying this much to like succeed. And I promise you will. But I cannot stress this enough. Like just doing your financial aid and filling that out is like number one. Like just do it. It's not hard. I know it takes some time, but what? An hour out of your day to pay for what could be the rest of your life. You know, like that's a big deal. So really do that. Um, and scholarships are huge. Like you're gonna hear about scholarships. I know, you know, you do that award ceremony at the end of the year and they give out your scholarships and all blah, blah, blah. But those don't end after high school. So um, don't worry about like, oh, but what about the rest of college? You know, because um, I mean, I know people who have literally just been like handed scholarships because of like, the connections they made and by putting themselves out there, you know, and so in involving themselves in philanthropy work, like, for example, I literally got a scholarship because of money that I raised for a philanthropy. So, like, just really put yourself out there because it's not hard to find those scholarships and people are willing to help you, you know, pay for college and they, they want to give you those scholarships, but they also want to see your effort. So, if you just put in the effort, like, you will not have a hard time finding the money to pay for it. So FAFSA, number one, scholarships to just, um, I mean, like finding a job, like, I mean, Katie, you have a job working on campus. So like they have stuff like that, like find something that works for you. And as well as like, I mean, your financial advisors are literally there to help you every day if you need it. Um, they are very you know, confident in helping you come out of college without a dime to pay for. So like really just like make a relationship with them as well. Um, and you'll be fine. There, there should be like zero worries about paying for it. Yeah. And for me, I did financial aid. I'm, on, I'm also on Oklahoma's Promise. So it helps pay for like literally everything. Like, And then with OU, it has Crimson Commitment along with Oklahoma's Promise because they partnered up with uh, them to do, like, they pay for like your fees and stuff as well. Like, and, it helps a lot, and um, also through that, I got um, like a five hundred dollar scholarship for books. So I got my books paid for. Like it helps so much because that, and then I also got two other scholarships. I got a scholarship from OU for my grades in high school. I got one from a business association, and I also got the road course uh, scholarship. So. It, you really just have to ask your advisors and stuff what you should do to help pay and stuff. Like, because that's literally what my advisor, if I didn't, if I did, my advisor hadn't told me about the room board situation, then I would have had to pay that out of pocket. Like, I would have had to, I would have been in debt even more, like, than I had to be. So, I'm yeah. really glad I found that. Yeah. Um, any questions? Do you guys like drive around a lot or is everything kind of like in walking distance? I can't, I mean, thank goodness, like you don't have to, I mean, I literally don't fill up my car for like weeks if that tells you anything. So I literally keep it in a parking spot and it doesn't move for like maybe like 
a few days at minimum. Like you walk everywhere and it's like, that's also like kind of what's so cool about college is like, you know, you really get to like experience like the campus and like walking around was like seriously one of my favorite part of my days. Um, like walking to class is so fun. You, you're seeing, you know, all of your friends, you're like meeting people. Um, you've mentioned this before, like the South Oval, like at OU, like, you know, I, I walk in the South Oval every day or did before online. Um, and like, there's always something going on there and you're always like, I mean, there's people like, like last year there were people like playing instruments on the South Oval and it's just like, it's like refreshing. Yeah. Some people take, like some of the professors take their classes to go sit on the South Oval. Yeah. And I remember on Indigenous People's Day, uh, I was walking by, they had like signs up that said different things and they have like a whole bunch of people like advocating for it, like Indigenous People's Day and stuff. So I thought it was really cool. And yeah, like you said, like every day when I walk by there and I literally, like there's always just something going on. And I remember, um, the OU dance or whatever mm -hmm. that they do, uh, that they just did. Um, they had like a whole thing where people could go sign up for it and stuff. And it was really cool. And you could do stuff with that. So. Yeah. Yeah. College walking to class is very refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, Which is healthy as well. Healthy. I lost weight like, freshman year due to that. So, yeah. Um, but obviously, time out how far your class is from your dorms. You make yeah, because sure. like my class that I have. That's like on the uh, in ten, like the other side of campus. Like it's literally so far, uh, or it's not as far as you would think. It's like a fifteen minute walk, which sounds terrible, but I love walking there because I love walking through campus. Because our campus, I think, is like so pretty. Like I love our campus, and they're always like doing stuff to make it look good. That's where a lot of their money goes, is to make our campus look good. So yeah, I like walking through there and seeing all of the stuff that they're doing. Yeah. Um, my class is actually over by the stadium, so like behind it, like really far behind it, but I don't want to walk by the stadium to see it, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. And my class is in the morning, it's at like 9 30, so I like walking in the morning because it's cooler, so it's a lot. Yeah. Other questions you guys have? Uh, I guess another thing is like, do you have to move out during the summer, or is it like every time there's a good break or so, anything like that? Um, you don't. So when you move in in August, you'll get to leave your stuff in your dorms August through May, and you will have to move out um, just because you're about to like you're gonna have to go to a different living situation. Um, I know OSU is a little different. Um, sometimes sometimes people stay in their dorms at OSU for two years, but then you move to a different dorm. So yeah, um, but I would get depends on like, what you get, and they have like apartments mm -hmm. here. But OU, you don't live in the dorms um, after freshman year. Nobody does. So um, you do have to find like a living situation. Like for me, I moved literally a block away to the sorority house. So like, um, and I lived in Norman this summer. So I just, you know, moved my stuff out of my dorm into an apartment. Um, but yeah, you won't get to leave your stuff there during the summer. But during breaks, yes. But during breaks, yeah. yes. You but with, like this year, like this semester. Um, so for me, they they keep talking about this, and my roommate is leaving at, uh, at Thanksgiving break. You can go home mm -hmm. until the end of winter break, but you have to like turn in your key. You have to like you can't come back. Like you have to if you're leaving, you're leaving. If you're staying, you're staying. Like that's how it is. And so uh, like for me, I'm coming home for Thanksgiving, but I'm going back to my dorm after that because I don't want to stay at your chair. <laughs> like, because I don't want to be here. So I'm going back up there, plus I have to work, so still to pay for my room and board. And then if you go home from Thanksgiving, which is like what, November 25th, like that's when we get out until like January 20 something or something. Mm -hmm. Like it's like I'm just there. And you have, they have, if you leave though, you have to pay for the rest of your room and board. That's whatever's left during that time, like the semester. So that's why. When it's not COVID circumstances, everything's a lot easier. Yeah. You know, chill, you just leave, go home, come back whenever you want. But yeah, COVID has made it a little difficult. Yeah. Hopefully this won't be a problem in Yoga. Hopefully. I have no idea. <laughs> would you give, we're right right on time, would you give one last piece of advice for them as they're about to enter the college? Um, I think you should like, 
just take your time. Like, don't rush everything. Like, make sure you're spending all your time and doing stuff over time instead of just doing it all at once because that can be really stressful. And just make sure you're not like getting really like overworking yourself. Like, make sure you're taking your time to do stuff. Yeah. And have I'm, fun. Yeah. I would say, um, for me, like my advice to you is um, really challenge yourself because this is the best time to like grow. And you you don't just have four years to do it. I mean, you can take as long as you want, but um, you, I mean, it, it, it sounds like a long time, but it's not. So like you have this time to really grow and be a better person and find out who you are and who you want to be and what you want to do with your life. So challenge yourself now. And then I really do think that me challenging myself helps me grow in my confidence. Um, and like confidence is key. Like it really is. It truly is in finding a job and, you know, meeting people. So um, really just challenge yourself, grow in your confidence, and just like don't hold back from doing anything, even though it can be intimidating. So that's my advice. All right. Good. What do you guys think of for coming? Mm -hmm. Get a little advice from, from our OU students.